Golf Central, brought to you by TaylorMade. Located north of Minneapolis in the town of Blaine, Minnesota, lies TPC Twin Cities, a golf course now 20 years old, originally designed by Arnold Palmer in consultation with Minnesota native son Tom Lehman. TPC Twin Cities played host for many years to the 3M Championship on PGA Tour Champions. Last year was year one of the 3M Open on the PGA Tour. The second edition is down to the last four weeks of the regular season. On the PGA Tour, hard to believe. Gary Williams, he is Trip Eisenhower. You know what? In the men's professional game, if the schedule was conducted as was originally planned, the major championship season would be in the books. We'd be sitting here reflecting. Instead, <laughs> the first of the three majors this year is a couple weeks away, and the best player in all of the majors the last three years, Brooks Kepka, is looking for anything to provide a spark. This season trip has been frustrating mm. for him all the way through. And if he doesn't find some form quickly in the next couple of weeks, his season's going to end a lot sooner than he expected it to. Yeah. This was his yeah. last hole the on ninth. Friday. Yeah, and he, he almost ended, his week almost ended a little sooner than he wanted with that ball finding the penalty area. He had to sit around and wait, but he ended up shooting a final round 80 to tie for 62nd. And, and Trip, one of the things that people have talked about trying to poke holes in his overall resume is the non-major performance. And he said, I'm, I am certainly determined to change that. Well, so far this year, that's not been the case. The number of finishes outside the top 30, eight of his nine, the one time that was not the case was when he finished seventh alone at the RBC Heritage. Meanwhile, the fourth ranked player in the world, Dustin Johnson, a very two-week performance chart, a win and then rounds of 80-80 and a missed cut. A trip the last start is the ultimate mind scrub for him, considered yeah. maybe one of his great skills that he can just, just forget things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it'll be gone next time he tees up, trust me. And uh, that one right there, he'd like to forget that one for sure. Wow. just And again, the week. Yeah, summed up his week. And if you look at his performance, the first 36 holes, Total score, 160, his worst. Total score in relation to par, tied for his worst. All of these things are, are certainly things you want to forget. Well, for more on the top two ranked players in the field this week and also in the world rankings, as far as where they sit at four and six, for more, we send it to Steve Burkowski, who is at TPC Twin Cities. Gary at fourth in the world. Dustin Johnson is the highest ranked player in the field this week. He's teeing it up in the 3M Open for the very first time. Earlier today, he talked about this golf course as well as the struggles he had a week ago in Ohio. I've been around it once. I went nine holes on Sunday afternoon and nine holes yesterday. Uh, yeah, the golf course, is, it's, it's a great golf course. You know, I, I feel like it sets up well for me from, from what I've seen. Um, you know, it's one that, you know, you can shoot some good scores on, if, you know, especially, you know, if I can drive it well out here, I feel like I can really attack the golf course. I actually thought the game was in really good form coming into to last week, and, you know, I just I played terrible. I don't know. I actually drove it okay, too, which was the, the weirdest part. I hit my iron so poorly, which is generally, I feel like one of the, my stronger suits is, you know, my irons and wedges. You know, I generally, you know, you know, if I can get it in the fairway, I'm going to shoot good scores. Um, but last week was it was just a struggle all the way around on the greens, irons, ev everything really, other than driving it. How do you put that behind you and just sort of take that as a couple of days? Uh, uh, that you want I to mean, forget? it's already behind me. I don't. I, it's not. It's not something I'm worried about or 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 dwell on at all. Because I, like I said, I feel like the game's in good form. It just. I mean, there was. I can make up all kinds of excuses why I played like, like pretty much last week, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to, and it's just it's something that's behind me, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this week, and like I said, I feel like the game's in really good form. It was a very honest and entertaining chat with Dustin Johnson earlier today. Brooks Kepka also here this week in Minnesota and starting this tournament 154th in the FedEx Cup standings. There is plenty of work to do for the four-time major champion as he continues to deal with those nagging issues due to the tears in his patella tendon in his left knee. Yeah, it'd be nice to play well just for my own sanity. Uh, before, I mean, I felt like... Uh, 
you know, Sunday leaving that golf course, I felt about as lost as anybody. Um, just frustrated with how I've been been playing, um, you know, not seeing the results. Um, it's it's irritating, but at the same time, uh, you just got to put in the work, put in the reps, and um, I mean, I know it's going to come back. It's only a matter of time. Um, you know, I'm not, I haven't hit the panic button yet, um, but it is frustrating. Any consideration uh, just taking the rest of the season off, rest, let the knee heal, and, and get back to a better spot? It, it, I'll be honest with you, it did cross my mind for a half second, and then uh, I think reality set in of um, I don't quit. I'm not going to quit. I think the only time I've ever pulled out of a tournament is for the fact of injury and, and couldn't actually do it anymore. Um, but I don't quit. Uh, I don't quit in the middle of rounds. I don't, you know, I try my butt off all day, every day. And, um, you know, it's it'd be a cool story to win the FedEx Cup from here, I guess, wouldn't it? The goal for Brooks Kepka is to qualify for the playoffs. But if he doesn't, as he told me earlier today, there is a strong likelihood he would go for another round of stem cell treatment on that left knee, Gary. And that would be the day after his season would come to a close. Wow, that would be unfortunate, mm-hmm. to say the least. We thought, Tripp, that, that that respite of having all that time would benefit him, uh, benefit him maybe as much as anybody, with the exception possibly of Tiger. When you've studied him, which you have extensively, whether it be data or just visibly, you know, and physically watching him, what is lagging? Just his iron game. I yeah. mean, you know, you, you pointed to the, the only time he didn't finish outside the top 30 in the nine events he's played uh, was at Harbortown, and he drove the ball beautifully there. He putted nicely, and there have been times where he's putted pretty decent, not great, but his iron game is really, really uh, off by his standards. I mean, last year he was 11th in greens and regulation, or last season. So far this season he's 179. Mm. I mean, uh, this is a guy who's used to hitting about 70% of the greens, and he's just not doing it. And uh, the irons have got to get better. I, I, I don't, I, you know, I've seen um, respites of time where some of the iron shots look good, but for the whole of a body of work of his iron game is just not there like we're used to seeing. Now, in fairness to Brooks, and, and we, we, we do kind of knock him in this, Gary, is, you know, he, okay, he's down for the rest of the events. He doesn't really seem to kind of yeah. – uh, they're not as important to him as majors. In fairness to him, we hadn't had a major yet this year. It's true. So, I mean, we'll know more in a couple of weeks, but I know that it, it's starting to – you know, maybe he's starting to push a little bit. I hope that's not the case. I hope he just, uh, you know, continues to understand that the irons will come around and keep doing what you're doing. But how much of it is the knee, I don't know at this point. Um, it just seems to me, though, he just it does not. The iron swings look a little bit different than the driver swings. They just mm-hmm. don't look the same. His proximity is is way down. Way down. And yeah. he's such a good putter. And, I, and he is. You can explain this better. When when your when your iron game is not good, that puts even more stress. He's outside the top 100 in strokes gained putting. Yeah. He was fifth three seasons ago. I know, and and that's the thing. You're right. But look, when you're not hankable putts for yes. birdie, you're not going to gain strokes on the greens, no matter how good a putter you are. Unless you're a Jason Day or a Jordan Spieth who were magnificent putters outside of 20 feet, that's not the case for Brooks. He's better closer in. So uh, the iron game has got to heat up, and this is a good week for it. Uh, A good week, good course for the irons to heat up on. All right, it is time now for Players on the Rise, presented by Hyundai. When you consider players leaving the college game and headed to the professional game, the hit the gala is somebody who a lot of people think have all of the trappings. And it's not just because of what he did. He's got big game, but he did sweep all those great awards, the Haskins Award, the Hogan Award, and the Jack Nicholas Award. And you consider that season was cut short because they really didn't have much of a spring season, not only at Pepperdine, but all of college golf. Now, earlier this year, the PGA Tour announced a new program. PGA Tour University is designed to reward elite collegiate play with varying levels of playing access to tours operated under the PGA Tour umbrella while upholding the principles and virtues of collegiate athletics. Now, the PGA Tour University program overview, when you take a look at it, it is NSA Division I golfers who have completed at least four years of college 
or graduate level in three years. Now, the PGA Tour University ranking list will be finalized after each NCAA Division I Men's Golf Championships. Now, the top five finishers on the list is going to receive Corn Ferry Tour membership. Now, number six to 15 is going to receive membership onto PGA Tour Latino America, the McKenzie Tour, PGA Tour Canada, or PGA Tour Series China. Now, this ranking is six through 15. When you look at these players, these are the most accomplished players. And again, we're going to reveal uh, one through five tomorrow. When you look at six through 15, of course, you've got to have a, tr have a trip on that. That is Trip Kinney down there at 15. John Augenstein from Vanderbilt is going to go back for his fifth year. And oh, by the way, he's got a master's invitation that he is going to realize in the month of November. Now, while college golfers around the country await official word on the fall golf season, the Golf Coaches Association of America is providing playing opportunities for them regardless of what happens later this year. The GCAA Amateur Series is going to be an 11-event schedule of 54-hole events beginning in August. The tournaments will be open to men and women, college golfers who were on rosters last season or will be this upcoming season. That is a great opportunity for these young men and women.